Hey, guess what? I just talked to Yuki! What? You're so lucky! <sighs> Yuki, let's go get something to drink. Alright. I'm Yuki Tanaka. <laughs> <laughs> that guy with brown hair? That's Yuki Suzuki. We used to be friends back in middle school, but... When we started high school, he became one of the popular kids. But I was stuck being a loser. Hey, Yuki! Yeah? Uh, she likes him for sure. C can I talk to you? Uh, sure. <laughs> She's gonna ask him out. Watch. Yuki was an outgoing guy, and he was handsome. Naturally, the girls were all over him, but... I like you! Will you go out with me? Oh, sorry. I can't. Uh, oh, okay. Sorry! <sighs> he always says no. She's cute. What's his problem? Yeah, if I was him, I'd go out with her in a second. Yeah, I know. Wait, what's a... How long have you been standing there, Maruo? <laughs> I'm a detective. I got eyes and ears everywhere. You're not a real detective. Maruo was a friend of mine. He was a nerd, just like me. I guess birds of a feather flock together. Maruo was a good guy. I enjoyed hanging out with him. Oh crap! Lunch is almost over! Hey, hold on! We got science next, right? Oh, really? <sighs> that was the first bell. You don't have to rush. <sighs> Yuki! Guess what? You're not gonna believe this! What is it now? Sanae, I just saw her walking with the other Yuki. I thought she was single. Sanae? Sanae was one of the prettiest girls at our school. She was stunning. Wait, speak of the devil. There she is. That guy, he's a year older than us, right? Yeah, he's a player. He's gonna ask her out. <laughs> Looks like she said no. Well, she's going out with the other Yuki, right? Of course she's gonna say no. I guess, but... I just thought if she said yes, we might still have a chance. What? You can't be serious. You never know. Uh, she's way out of our league. She'd never go out with guys like us. <sighs> They'd make a great couple. Well, why are you okay with this? I always carry an umbrella so I can use it with her when it rains. What? Uh... This isn't happening! <sighs> Whatever. I didn't really care, to be honest. Ah, uh, look at the time. I better get home. Hope Maru will be okay. Oh, hey, the new game is on sale. Maybe I should get it. Huh? Wait a minute. <laughs> so then, he was like... <laughs> really? It's Yuki and Sanae. Hey, um, about what I told you earlier. Oh, that. I'm sure it'll work out. What are they talking about? I can't hear them. I just don't know what to do! Don't worry, you got this. It sounds like he's giving her some kind of advice. They went inside. Oh well, they'd make a good couple. She's way out of my league. Maruo, I saw Yuki and Sanae yesterday. Really? Where? The cafe near the station. You stalked them? Oh, nice work! No man, I just ran into them, that's all. <sighs> I'm so jealous. One day I'm gonna go out with a really pretty girl too, but I suck at talking to girls. I better practice. Help me, Yuki! Uh, that sounds pathetic. Um, Yuki? Just listen! Here's my plan. I'm gonna wait until a bunch of delinquents start messing with a girl. Then, I'm gonna take them all out and get her to like me! I, uh, I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> Uh, how about this then? The girl comes running around the corner of the hallway, then I run into her by accident. Then... <laughs> you watch too many movies. You gotta come up with a more realistic plan. Yuki! Huh? Uh, uh, Yuki. I think she's here for you. Huh? Me? Don't you mean the other Yuki? No. Listen. Yeah? What's going on? Why is she talking to me all of a sudden? We talk... in... private? What? Yuki! Yuki! What the heck is going on? Why is she talking to you? This makes no sense! I, I'm as confused as you are! Yuki, come on! O okay Yuki! Don't betray me! Traitor! Maruo, relax! Ah! 
Um, okay, uh, how can I help you? I'll be blunt. I like you, Yuki. Huh? I thought you were already dating him. Huh? Oh, I guess not. They're probably still friends. I get it. You want to go out with him and you want my help, right? <laughs> sure. I went to the same middle school as him, so uh, I got you. No, I don't think you heard me right. I like you! What? W why? Me? You can't be serious. He's just a friend. You're the one I like. What? I I'm confused. And look at all these people staring at us. Sorry, Yuki. I had to tell everyone. <laughs> you little... <laughs> Sanae? Uh, you okay? Yeah. Um, okay. Listen, I'll talk to you after school. Can you meet me at the cafe near the station? Okay. I like you, not the other Yuki. <sighs> I think she's serious. This is kind of awkward. But why me? The other Yuki is much better. He's just a friend. I don't see him like that. And he says he doesn't have time for girls. That's why he says no to every girl that asks him out. <sighs> I see. So that's why. Makes sense, I guess. The other day, he told me about how you saved him back in middle school. Saved him? Yeah, at the school marathon. Uh, where is everyone? Am I lost? Hey! Huh? There you are! You went the wrong way! What? See that light over there? Go there and cross the street! Oh, I see. Thanks. I wasn't really listening to the instructions. Oh, so they tried to frame me. Suzuki was good at everything. Many of the kids were jealous of him, so some of them gave him wrong directions so he'd be disqualified. What about you, Tanaka? You shouldn't be here. We had the same first name, so we called each other by our last names. Oh, no worries. I'll come in last place anyways. I suck at sports. But you still got a chance, so I wanted to help you. <laughs> Thanks, man. Hey, let's run together. We might not be able to get first place anymore, but we still got a chance. What? Uh, okay. That was really sweet of you, Yuki. He said he wanted to thank you for it all these years. I had no idea. I didn't even remember that. He says he remembers it like it was yesterday. That's when I realized that I like you. I started paying more attention to you in class and stuff. But why me? I'm a loser. You can do much better than me. What about that older guy that you were talking to the other day? No! All those guys care about is looks. All they want to do is get in my pants! Uh, uh, I see. I want to go out with someone nice. Like you. <laughs> but I've never had a girlfriend before. I wouldn't know what to do. <laughs> Same here. No worries. We'll figure it out. Together. Okay. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> Thank you, Yuki! And so, Sana and I started dating. And Suzuki and I started hanging out again. Which was kind of nice, too. Maruo was super jealous of me, but he was happy for me, too. Woo! Fancy chan I love you! You're the best! I'm Ryotamaki. I worked multiple jobs to make ends meet. This is my idol, Tenshi-chan. Oh, she was the best! I'm gonna steal your heart! <laughs> Please do! After the concert... Oh, that was amazing! Who needs a girlfriend? I got Tenshi-chan! She's all I need! Hey, back there, I... What? No way! Is it really her? Ah, uh, no way. She's probably a look-alike. Oh, I better get home. What the? Where's my wallet? Oh crap, did I drop it? I got all my stuff in there, including my employee card. Oh, damn it, what now? Um... Huh? Someone came up to me. I couldn't believe my eyes. Did you drop this? Uh, uh, Tenshi-chan? <laughs> Here you go. I saw you drop it, but you just kept walking. Oh, I'm glad I caught up to you. Oh, uh, I see. Um, thanks. 
So, uh, wait, are you really Tensi chan? <laughs> no, of course not. I'm just a fan. I love Tenshi chan too. Oh, I see. Yeah, she's so great. <laughs> yeah, I love her. Her name was Kotomi Kamiyo. She was a college student. I decided to buy her dinner to thank her for finding my wallet. So, you've been a fan since college? Yeah, it was a love at first sight. Is that why you didn't get a full-time job after college? To make time for Tenchi-chan? Uh, something like that. Uh, can we talk about something else? <laughs> it's okay, I don't judge. Tenchi-chan doesn't judge either. It's all good. <laughs> Thanks. It was nice to have a friend that shared your passion. We lived in the same city, so we started hanging out together. At the diner. Oh, you sure know a lot about Tenshi-chan. You're a true fan. I feel the same way about you. I'm gonna go get some soda. Want one? Oh, uh, I'll go. Stay here. Oh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, uh, okay. Um, I'll take some tea then. Oh, she's such a nice person. Here you go. Thanks. Oh, hey! The big announcement from Tenchi-chan is coming up next week. Yeah, I wonder what it is. She's gonna stream it live, right? Wanna watch it together? We can meet up here. Ah, oh, uh, sounds good. I'll see you next week then. Cool! Maybe someday I'll get to go to a concert with her. That'll be so great! Then, a week later, we met at the same restaurant. Here we go! Maybe she's gonna be in a movie or something. Oh, maybe. That would be amazing. To my beloved fans, I know this is sudden, but... I, Tsukasa Amane, I'm retiring. I'm quitting show business. <gasps> no! no! From now on, I'll be... Tensitan, no! <laughs> Tenshi chan! Uh, Kamiyo, you, you okay? Yeah! <laughs> oh, she doesn't look okay. She was a hardcore fan just like me. Oh, I'm worried. What do I do now? I. 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 Kamiyo. I'm gonna tour the country and visit my friends. Favorite locations. Oh, I know. Hey, uh, you free next week? I want to take you somewhere. Okay. A week later. What is this place? It's Angel Land. It was Tenshi Chan's favorite theme park. I've heard about it, but I've never been here before. She said she was going to tour the country visiting her favorite locations, so maybe we'll see her here. And if not, so be it. We can still have fun. It'll help you take your mind off of things. Thank you. Yeah. Spinning cup. Hang on tight! Tenshi chan. Merry go round. Woohoo! Tenshi chan. Roller coaster. <laughs> Tenshi chan. At a bench. Uh, this isn't working. She's not over her. This isn't gonna be easy. Hey, is that Denshi chan What? No, man. Look. Huh? Oh, oh, man. I guess we're not the only fans here, but maybe we shouldn't be doing this. She probably doesn't want us to follow her around like this. Maybe. Huh? Before I started copying Tenshi chan I was the quiet type. I hated myself. And nobody cared about me, you know? Uh... Oh. But then I met Tenshi Chan and she completely changed my life. When I started copying her, I started making lots of new friends and. Oh, good for you. But then I started having doubts. What do you mean? I made a lot of new friends, sure, but. <sighs> That's only because I dressed like Tenshi Chan. But. And now she's retired. Maybe I'll go back to being my old self. <laughs> I, 
I guess I'm just scared. But if I keep dressing like this, nobody will see the real me. <sighs> I just don't know what to do. Look, um, you're a wonderful person, even if you're not dressed up like Tenshi-chan. You're just saying that. You would have never talked to me if I wasn't dressed like this. No, you're really nice. You see people for who they are. You're a good person, I'm telling you. But I'm just copying Tenshi-chan. You can't just copy someone and be a good person like that. You're a great person, trust me. Maki, you... you mean it? You think I'm a good person? Yes, absolutely. Uh, thank you. <laughs> good to hear. We walked around the park for about an hour and headed home. Then, a few days later, she called me. At home... Hey, um, I stopped dressing up like Tenchi-chan. I went to college with my normal clothes. Ah, good. How did it go? All my friends liked it. It made me really happy. Mmm, good to hear. I don't feel insecure anymore. It's all thanks to you and to Tenshi-chan. <laughs> yeah. What's the matter, Ryota? You sound sad. Huh? I'm fine, really. Oh, um, okay. Uh, hey, uh, wanna hang out next week? Uh, okay, uh, cool. <sighs> A week later... Ryota? Huh? Uh? You okay? Huh? Uh, yeah. Uh, you didn't like this place? Sorry, I... No, it's not that. It's nothing. Hold on, I gotta go to the bathroom. <sighs> Hope he's okay. What the... Hey, what are you doing? You dropped it. Is this a resume? <sighs> yeah, I started job hunting. I see. Was it because Tenshi-chan retired? Uh, kind of. Well, not really. Huh? I've been lying to you. I said I didn't get a stable job to make time for Tenshi-chan, but that was a lie. I just got rejected by every company I applied to. Oh. Why did you lie? I don't know. I was never good at interviews, I guess. This one time, the interviewer said I creeped him out, because I liked Tenshi-chan. After that, I just kind of got sick of it and stopped trying. Ryota... My parents were really upset, but I just quit trying. But I'm done feeling sorry for myself. I gotta get over this. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to nag like that. I'm still a sophomore, so I don't know much about job hunting, but you're a good person, Ryota. I'm telling you. Oh. And, and what kind of person says that to a potential candidate? People like that, ugh, they just want to hurt others. Forget them. Don't let them drag you down like that. <sighs> yeah. Keep your head up. I hate seeing you like this. <laughs> Ryota? You're right. You're absolutely right, Kamio. Thank you. I feel much better now. Yeah? Good. You sure you're okay? Yeah. I'm gonna give it my best shot. I'm just gonna be me. I got nothing to hide. Good for you, Ryota. You got this. So I started applying for some companies. I even got some interviews. Interview. So, uh, you like idols? Yes, she's retired now, but I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for her. And if it wasn't for her, I never would have met my best friend. Mmm, I see. Thank you. Then, I finally got a job offer. I was so excited. I called Kamio immediately. Diner. Congratulations, Ryota! <laughs> Thank you. It's all thanks to you. No, it was all you, Ryota. Good job! The interviewer, he said he liked my honesty. Uh, yeah. That's what I like about you, too. Thanks. Um, there's something else I wanted to tell you. Yeah? I like you. <gasps> Will you go out with me? I'd love 
too. What? I liked you too. You didn't know? That's why I started calling you by your first name. What? Uh, I... Took you long enough. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. <laughs> no worries. Kotomi really helped me out. She helped me get my life back on track. She's gonna start job hunting soon, so I'm gonna do everything I can to help her. I was really lucky to have her in my life. And I owe that to Tenshi-chan. Thank you, Tenshi-chan. Yuki, get up! Come on! Uh, I'm up. I'm up. I'm Yuki. I'm just a normal kid in high school. My childhood friend lived next door to me. Her name was Michael. She was always playing hot and cold with me. Uh, look, I can get up on my own. You don't have to wake me up every day. Uh, what? I'm not here for that. I just came by to say hi to your mom. That's it. Uh, whatever you say. Uh, you don't have to come to my classroom after school, okay? Huh? You got plans today or something? Uh, no, but... Michael was really pretty. Being seen with her at school meant getting unwanted attention from the other kids. Then I'll walk you home. You're always falling down and stuff. Sound good? I'm not a little kid anymore. She's always been like this ever since we were kids. When did she start coming over to my house like this? Hello, Yuki, you there? You got your lunch? Yuki, hello? Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. And how is she still single? Is it because she's always with me? At school? I wish she'd leave me alone. I'm not a kid anymore. Yuki! Did your girlfriend walk you to school again? Reya? He was my classmate. He was smart, good looking, and an athlete. Michael should go out with someone like him. They'd make a good couple. Just kidding. I know you two aren't dating yet, but she likes you, right? Uh, what? What on earth are you talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking about. You waiting for her to ask you out or something? Just man up and ask her out already. It's not like that, okay? I'm a loser. I suck at everything. Ugh, you're so negative, man. Well, if you care about her, you should think about it. Was he serious? Michael likes me. That can't be. Reya was a good kid. He was friendly to everyone, even to me. I don't think he would lie to me like that. I wish I was confident like him. Then I'd be able to ask her out like he said. <sighs> no, get a hold of yourself. I'm a loser. She's way out of my league. I'm just her childhood friend. Nothing more. Yuki, hey! What are you doing? Um, hello? Uh. Relax! Come on, let's go home. <sighs> I guess we're walking home together. I told you not to come today. I didn't mean to, but your classroom is on my way out, so I thought I'd ask. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Why are you so upset? You okay? Huh? I'm fine. Something's up, I can tell. I've known you forever, I can read you like a book. If you want to talk to me, I'm here for you. She was right. She knew me well. And she was a good listener. But I can't just ask her if she really likes me or not. I'm fine. Really. Ugh, fine. Whatever. Forget it. Then she ran off. Ugh, I think she's mad at me now. I shouldn't have raised my voice like that. Why won't he talk to me? Ah! The next day, is Michael still mad at me? She didn't come to my house this morning. Yuki! Morning! Reya! Hey! Yuki, I'm really sorry, man. Huh? What about? I can't hold myself back anymore. You know what I mean, right? Huh? Uh, no. Ah, uh, you're so slow! Look, I like Michael, okay? I wanna ask her out, but she likes you! So if you don't like her, tell her! Huh? I'm serious, please! I really like her. I know I can make her happy. If you're not gonna ask her out, stop playing games with her. 
I know you two are childhood friends and all, but you understand what I'm saying? <sighs> I see. I get it. A pretty girl like that hanging out with me, it uh, doesn't make sense. If people see her with you after she starts dating me, they'll get the wrong idea about her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'll tell her to keep her distance from now on. I wish all the best to you two. Uh, good to hear. Thanks. After school. Yuki, sorry about this morning. I, I was a bit sick and... But I'm better now. Let's go home. Michael, uh, come here. We gotta talk. What the... What are you doing? Uh, uh, what is this about? I want to talk to you. About us. Huh? Why are you so serious? Uh, I... Say it already! You're the one that brought me out here! Uh... Look, you can tell me anything, okay? You're like family to me. Actually... Actually, you're more than that! I'm sorry. Huh? Sorry, Michael. I don't feel that way about you. Look, you might not realize this, but you attract a lot of attention. But me, I don't want that. We may live next door to each other, but that's it. What are you saying? You don't want to be friends anymore? Uh, Michael turned around and ran off. She looked really upset. Screw you! It's for the best, but then... Why does it hurt so much? <laughs> Stupid Yuki! He, he has no idea! I... Hey, Michael! What's the matter? Huh? You crying? You okay? <laughs> oh, come here. There, there. Uh, let's go somewhere quiet. Meanwhile... I shouldn't have said that to her. I gotta apologize. Where is she? I gotta find her. <laughs> it's okay. You're safe now. <laughs> oh, poor you. Did you get a uh, dumped or something? But you're so pretty. What kind of guy says no to someone like you? Whatever. They're lost. Oh, screw that guy. Forget about him. Go out with me instead. You're the prettiest girl in school, and I'm the most handsome guy here. We'd make a great couple. Uh, sorry, I can't. He's the only one for me. <sighs> so annoying. Huh? I told that loser to dump you. I guess he didn't. That idiot. Rhea? Oh, just shut up and go out with me, okay? You know you want to. <gasps> w what are you doing? Get away from me! <laughs> Don't worry. Come here. What's that scar? Oh, uh, I it's nothing. Hold it right there! <laughs> Yuki? <clears throat> what are you doing here? Someone saw you two walking this way. I... Get away from Michael! Huh? I'm not doing anything. I was just comforting her. She was upset because you dumped her. No! He's lying! He... He tried to... Ah, uh, don't listen to her. Look, just get out of here, okay? Before you get hurt. I don't think so. The teacher is on his way here as we speak. What? Ah, oh, crap! Rhea, where are you? Come out here! Uh, I'm sorry, I'm out of here! <sighs> Michael, you okay? Yuki... Yuki! Michael... I know you don't like me, Yuki. It's, it's fine, I... No, listen. This is all my fault. 
I didn't know what I was saying. I just thought you were out of my league, and... What would the other kids think? I... I... No! You're the one for me, Yuki! I... I want you! But... Why? Michael, your arm... Remember this? When we were little, I almost got hit by a truck. But you pushed me out of its way and saved me. Of course I remember. But I had no idea that left a scar. I'm sorry. Mm, don't apologize. You saved my life. And every time I look at this, it reminds me of you. Uh, Michael... And who cares what other people think? I like you. It's as simple as that. <sighs> She's right. She's absolutely right. And the thing is, I love her too. Why else would I risk my life to save her? <sighs> Michael, I'm sorry. I thought I was doing this for you, but I only ended up hurting you. It's okay. You came to save me, so... Michael, I love you. I've always loved you. <laughs> Please, go out with me. <sighs> okay, but... You better make me the happiest girl in the world. What's going on there? Oh, it's the teacher. Let's get out of here. <laughs> yeah. And so, we started dating. Nothing really changed, though. She still came to my house every morning to wake me up and stopped by my classroom after school. But when we were alone, we started holding hands. I really loved spending time with her. Life was good. As for Rhea, he got in a lot of trouble after that. His parents made him shave his head and he was suspended from school. <laughs> Good riddance. Anyways, <laughs> glad everything worked. I first met her back in 10th grade. Is that her? Alana, she's so pretty, as always. She's so gorgeous. All the guys were staring at her. She was the prettiest girl in school. She was perfect in every way imaginable. Huh? Huh? But she was really mean to me for some reason. Sit down, everyone. Class is about to start. You're friends with Elena. I'm so jealous. <laughs> what? She hates me. Are you blind? <laughs> Still, at least she talks to you. She was in the same class as me. Not sure why, but she had it out for me. Lunch. Oh, looks good. But all you got is meat. You gotta eat more vegetables. Shut up, man. I made it myself. And I don't like vegetables, okay? You made it yourself? That looks terrible. Shut up. Leave me alone. Don't tell me to shut up. Here, eat this. Huh? For me? I don't want it. She always did this. And just the other day... Hey, did you see Mimaran on TV last night? Yeah, she was awesome. Oh, she's so funny, too. You talking about that singer? Huh? You like Mimarin too? Not really. I've heard of her, that's all. Aren't you guys a bit old to be chasing idols? You've got to be more realistic. A few days later... Oh, I stayed up all night watching Mimarin videos online. Oh, so sleepy. <laughs> what? Did you just laugh at me? What? No, it's just your hair. <laughs> He's so cute! Elena sure loves him. You're making it worse! No, I'm not! Leave him alone, Elena! <laughs> I'm not her pet. Oh, the girls were laughing at me. And as for the boys... Why him? Die, 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 die! Yikes! I never asked for this, but now all the other boys were jealous of me. Ever since Elena came into my life, everything started going sideways. Then, one day... Oh, what the... I got a fever. I better take the day off. Oh no! Your dad and I won't be back until late today, though. It's fine. No worries. Stay home, okay? Don't even think about going out, okay? I know, I know. Don't worry. Alright, gotta go. Get some rest, okay? Alright, have a good day. 
I feel dizzy. I better catch some sleep. I had a fever, so I took the day off and went to bed. Then, that afternoon... He was out sick today. I thought stupid people didn't catch colds. Ugh, it was so boring without him. Psyche, you live near Yosuke, right? Can you bring these to him on your way back? Huh? Uh, okay. What the... Hey! Don't you have guitar lessons today? You must be busy, I'll go instead. But you live far away from him. It's fine. I'm on a diet. I could use the exercise. It's fine, okay? What? what? Yosuke, I brought you some food. Ah, oh, thank you as always. It looks good. <laughs> Wait, what the? Why are you here, Elena? Why not? I'm yours. What? Uh, not so close. Uh, oh. That was just a dream. What's wrong with me? I need to rest. <laughs> Elena cooking for me? No way. She'd poison me the first chance she gets. Who could that be? Uh, Elena! Why is she here? She's not gonna leave until I let her in. Is he asleep? Wait, what if his mom is home? Uh, yes... He's wearing pajamas! D took you long enough! Uh, sorry. I was sleeping. I got you your homework and stuff. You're welcome! Oh, uh, thanks. He's so cute! Uh, you, you by yourself? You, you feeling better? Um, I guess. I'm sure I'll be fine. You went to the hospital, right? No, I haven't eaten anything. What? Oh, you're burning up! I'm coming in! W what uh, Hey! So, Elena let herself in. Can I use your kitchen? Huh? Uh... Elena took out some food from a plastic bag. Then she started making me porridge. Then she started peeling an apple using a knife. I didn't know she could cook like this. I put the apples in the fridge, and I got you some water too. Stay hydrated. What? Uh, I... Uh... Just do as I say, okay? School is boring without you! What? Why are you looking at me like that? You want me to help you with your homework or something? What? Um, uh, no. Um, but thanks. Fine, fine. Open up. Huh? What? Stop yelling, you're gonna make me spill it! What? Uh, how is this my fault? Just do as I say, okay? Here, eat up! Fine, fine. Ugh. Look, I'm fine. Give me the spoon. Uh. What happened to you, Elena? You're never nice to me like this. Sh shut up! I was just trying to help! Huh? I grew up without a mom, so I always had to take care of myself when I caught a cold. Up until elementary school, Grandma was there, but she passed away, so... A anyways, that's why I know all of this stuff. Oh, I see. Sorry. For what? T stop apologizing. Okay. Anyways, um, uh, thanks for all this. I really appreciate it. Whatever. I'm your classmate, so it's the least I can do. Don't worry about it. She doesn't seem upset anymore. You're a good, hard-working person, Elena. Huh? W where'd that come from? Huh? Uh, I don't know. I'm just saying, the way you took care of yourself as a kid and stuff. I'm impressed, that's all. Uh, hey, what was that for? Sh shut up! Just eat your food! <sighs> Why is she always like this? I doubt he remembers, but a few months ago... Yes! Elena is in the same class as us! We're so lucky! Yeah! Uh, boys are talking about me again. Elena? You mean that girl who did really well in the finals? Huh? Huh? I was in the same remedial class as her for math one time. But on the final exam, she got an A+. I think she got the best grade in our class. Whoa, really? I had no idea. I thought she was really smart to begin with. No, man. She worked her ass off. I can tell. She's a really hard worker. How does he know all of this? 
Ever since then, I couldn't stop looking at him. I'm sick, okay? Be nice to me. You look fine to me. I want to be nice to him, but I've never felt this way about anyone before. I just don't know what to do, but I came all this way. Hey, uh, th this weekend, if you're feeling better... Uh, uh, huh? It'll take some time, but uh, I'll get him. Someday. One day at the office... Ah! Let's get some work done! Uh, you seem, uh, motivated. <laughs> yeah! I'm Eiji Nakamoto, just an ordinary businessman. I didn't really like work. I usually try to take it easy, but a few days ago, everything changed. Good morning! <gasps> She's here! Her name was Moe Komachi. She got transferred to our department a few days ago. She was a year younger than me, and she was really my type. So, I wanted to show off in front of her. Mr. Nakamoto, thanks for covering for me the other day. Of course. Don't worry about it. <laughs> thanks. Wait, you're done with that already? You got that assignment yesterday. Oh, this? <laughs> yeah, it's nothing. Wow, you're so good at your job. <laughs> thanks. All right. But I hear the other guys are trying to get with her too. I gotta keep going. Nakamoto, can I have a word? <laughs> Nakamoto! Uh huh? What are you smiling about? Uh, hi, Miss Sugita. This is Misuzu Sugita. She was my boss. She was a hardworking person, but there was one problem. So, have you been studying? The exam for the certificate program is coming up. Oh, uh, not really. I just don't have enough time. But these days, you always go home as soon as the bell rings. What do you mean, you don't have enough time? Uh, I actually started going to the gym to get in shape for Kamachi, but I better not say that. Well, uh, I've been trying, but I don't know. I'm just always so tired when I get home and... Uh, whatever. Look, I got a new assignment for you. I need it ASAP. What? But I already got enough on my plate. Oh? You're saying no to me? Uh, uh, of course not. Uh, I'll have it on your table by tomorrow. Alright, good. Once you're done with that, let's have a study session for your exam. We still got time. Uh, okay. She was always burying me in work, and she was always making me study for all kinds of certificate programs. It helps me show off to Kamachi, but it was still a bit too much. The next day... <sighs> This is so confusing. I better ask her about this, but she looks so busy. Uh, excuse me, do you have a minute? Huh? What is it? Oh, uh, actually, never mind. It's nothing. Oh, she's so scary. I can never talk to her when she's like this. Lunch. Miss Sugita hates you, dude. Huh? You think so too? Yeah, she's always glaring at you and stuff. Uh, yeah. I have no idea why, though. I'm kind of jealous, though. She's really pretty. At least you get to talk to her. <laughs> what? All she ever does is yell at me. She scares me. Sorry to hear that. Oh well, she's like that to everyone, so don't worry too much. I guess. But I feel like she's extra hard on me. She's pretty, too, sure, but... She's so scary. Komachi's the one for me! A few days later... She put me in charge of this project, and Komachi was on my team. you you are putting me in charge? Uh, yeah. I'm counting on you. Oh, thank you! Looking forward to working with you, A.G. Yeah, same here! Oh, this is my chance! Thank you, Miss Sugita! So, here's my idea. Wow, that's amazing! You're so creative! <laughs> Thanks! It's nothing, though. Oh, finally, things were starting to go my way. Then one day, I heard Komachi talking to her colleague in the break room. So, you want that new bag by Comic Heaven, huh? Huh? You should ask your boyfriend to get it for you. But I don't even have a boyfriend. Uh, I wish I did. My supervisor is kind of cute, though. Hmm. Maybe I should ask him. Wait, what? Is she talking about me? Oh, this is my chance. 
I'm gonna get her that bag and ask her to go out with me. So I booked a nice restaurant and asked her out on a date. Dinner. Thank you for inviting me. Oh, oh this place looks fancy. <laughs> sure thing. Uh, here. I got something for you. Huh? What's this? Uh, is that... Oh, wow! Komachi, I really like you. Will you go out with me? Nakamoto! I... Of course I will! Yes! She said yes! I was so excited! The dinner was pretty expensive, but I didn't even care! So, we started going out. I basically paid for everything, but I didn't care. As long as she was having fun. Then one day, during lunch... Ah, oh, this place is nice. I'm gonna bring her here this weekend. <laughs> for real? Huh? Yeah, I'm gonna break up with him. Huh? I didn't think he'd actually buy me the bag. Anyways, I think I'm done with him. He's a loser, so he should be grateful that I went out with him, even if it was only for a week. <laughs> oh, you're horrible. Oh, no. Huh? What was that? Huh? At a bench. <sighs> what am I doing? I gotta get back to work. I ran off before she could see me. I was shocked. I didn't know what to do. I just sat there, unable to move. But then... <sighs> uh, Miss Sugita, what is she doing here? She never talks to me outside of work. I know what you're going through. Don't let her get to you. Focus on something else. And, uh, don't expect too much from people. Makes life much easier. Huh? W what are you talking about? Uh, y you and Komachi. I know, okay? I can read you like a book. <laughs> you here to rub it in my face? No, I knew it would happen, and I knew you liked her, and I knew that she was like that too. What? Why didn't you tell me anything then? You wouldn't have believed me. Love makes people blind. <laughs> you know that. You probably would have thought I was jealous or something. <laughs> what? No. You're pretty, and you're really strong. I look up to you. Oh? You're hitting on me now? You don't like Komachi anymore? W what No, it's not like that. Come on, break is almost over. Time to head back. If you still feel down after work, uh, tell me. I'll take you out for drinks. Uh, huh? If you don't want to, that's fine. Uh, no, uh, I'd like that. Uh, what's this place? Um, it's a bar? Uh, no, I know that, but... Look, Nakamoto, I wanted you to be tough. I've been pushing you really hard, I know that, but I only did it because I care about you. I wanted you to learn the ropes, and you did, right? Huh? Uh, yeah, but I still got a lot to learn. I can't believe I let Komachi trick me like that. <sighs> Some people are like that, but her way of doing things, it'll catch up to her. Trust me, I know. I once dated a guy like her, and, uh, uh, yeah. Miss Sugita. What? I feel much better. Thank you. You said not to expect much from people, but... If you want someone to lean on, I'm here for you. But only as your boss. If you're looking for someone to date, go find someone else. I'm an old woman now. <laughs> what? No, you're not. I'm 30. So what? You're beautiful. Oh, stop saying that. I really look up to you too. And I really enjoy working with you. <sighs> Fine. How about this then? Huh? If you get promoted to section chief like me, you can hit on me. What? Really? Really. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna work my ass off. Good to hear. So we had a deal. I started working like crazy at work. A few years later, she got married and quit her job. On her last day, she came to work wearing the ring I got her. She was so beautiful. I'm glad everything worked out. I'm Kanata Akano. I'm 25. I was just an average Joe. Most of the time I kept to myself. I've never had a girlfriend in my life. But today, my friends warned me, but I was out on a date. It all started three days ago. Oh, thank you so much! Of course. Get home safe. Huh? Who was that, Kanata? You know him? Hayato, hey! Uh, no, but he said he lost his wallet, so, uh... Let me guess. You lent him money? How much? Uh, Fifty bucks. You got his number? 
Oh, uh, oops. Ah, you're such an idiot. This is my childhood friend, Hayato. He was always looking out for me. Kanata, you're too nice, man. Normal people don't lend money to total strangers. You gotta stop doing this. But he said he didn't have enough money to get home. <laughs> and you believed him? You gotta stop trusting people like that. Especially when it involves money. Alright, I'll be careful from now on. Oh, and girls. If you meet a girl and she asks you out on a date immediately, stay away. Ugh, girls are insane. They're much worse than guys. They're a different kind of species. You understand? Uh, wait. You broke up with your girlfriend again? What? No! I haven't talked to her in weeks, but I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> so that's why you asked me to join you for drinks. Cheer up, bro. Here, drink up. Kanata, you're too nice, man. He was always getting himself into trouble with women. Hey, did you hear about that shady fortune teller? The one near the station? Huh? No, what's she like? <laughs> she doesn't tell your fortune. Uh, but I thought she was a fortune teller. Well, she dresses like one, but when you ask her to read your fortune, she just says no. That sounds... odd. Ugh, just be careful, okay? You're too nice and gullible. And never sign anything, got it? <laughs> Yuri, why did you have to leave me? Oh, there, there. Wait, is that the fortune teller Hayato was telling me about? On my way home, I saw this fortune teller sitting on the side of the street. She looks like a character out of an RPG game or something. Was it even a girl? I couldn't really tell. Mm, she looks shady. Just stay away. She doesn't even tell your fortune. Let's just go. I started walking away, but then... Uh, 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 hey, you! The one with the yellow tie! I looked around. I was the only one there. Um, would you like me to tell your fortune? Huh? If it's okay with you, I'd like to tell your fortune. <laughs> she didn't sound very confident. I had nothing to do, so I decided to give her a chance. <laughs> if I tell Hayato about this, he'll probably flip out, but... Oh well. Okay, sure. Really? Oh, thank you! I couldn't really see her face, but she sounded nervous. She started placing her hand over the crystal ball. Hmm. Today... Huh? True love? Yeah. And you'll marry her. Marry her? For real? Yes! One of the women you talked to today. She's the one! And you'll end up marrying her. I see. But, uh... Wait, I, uh, I didn't talk to any girls today. Huh? I said I didn't talk to any girls today. I was terrible with women. I rarely talked to them. I'll uh, probably be single for the rest of my life. <laughs> but that can't be. I mean, you're talking to me right now. Then, she asked me out on a date. Everything was happening so fast. I didn't even know what to make of it. Sorry to keep you waiting. Wait, you're the fortune teller from the other night? Yeah, I'm Kasumi Okuno. Nice to meet you. What? Oh, she was pretty. I couldn't believe it. So you went to school to be a fortune teller? Huh, interesting. Yeah, I was always fascinated by this. I wanted to be a fortune teller ever since I can remember. I got pretty good grades at school too. Oh, I see. That's awesome. <laughs> Thanks. So, we started talking. We were both nervous at first, but about an hour later, we both started to relax a bit. It was a lot of fun talking to her. My teacher said I was really good at this, but uh, I have a problem. What? I'm not very good at talking to people, especially people I just met, you know? I get so nervous and I just freeze up. I see. So that's why you turned down customers. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes I ran off. Aww. <laughs> but the other night, you were talking to me just fine. 
In fact, you're the one that called me over. I'm sure you'll get used to it. Oh, that, that's different. You're, uh, you're, you're special, so... I mean... Huh? N not nothing Forget I said anything. Kanata! I knew that was you. Uh, Hayato! Didn't expect to see you here. This place is for couples. I thought you hated places like this. But, wait, is she? Ah, Kanata. <laughs> Good job, man. You, uh, his girlfriend or something? I'm a fortune teller, actually. Destiny drew us together, and... Fortune teller? She's the one you were telling me about. The one near the station. Remember? Uh, hold on. Not this again. You're being tricked! What? N no, I... What's wrong with you? What are you trying to sell? You should be ashamed of yourself. What? Uh, I I'm not selling anything. Look, he's been through enough, okay? He's a good guy. He's too honest for his own good. Leave him alone. I know! I know he's an honest person! I know that! Uh, huh? <sighs> a few months ago, I... We're collecting donations for our friend Ken. He's got a serious illness. Yeah, we need a hundred grand by next month for treatment. That's a scam for sure. I heard about this on the news. I should say something, but they look scary. Just walk away. Oh crap! Cops! Let's get out of here! <sighs> <sighs> Where do they go? Huh? Excuse me, did you see anyone collecting donations around here? They were just here. Huh? I... oh, they were... they left. Oh, darn it. I ran to an ATM to withdraw some money. Oh, uh, I think it was a scam. A scam? Oh, I had no idea. Whew. Yeah, good thing you didn't lose your money. No, uh, I mean, if that was a scam, that means Ken doesn't exist. Uh, that's a good thing. <laughs> the way you smiled, it really got to me. So I waited near the station for months, hoping to see you again, but you never showed up. <laughs> After a while, I thought about quitting. I was ready to give it all up, but then... You... found me. Yeah. I knew it was my last chance, so I made up a bunch of stories so that you'd go on a date with me. Oh, I see. I'm so sorry! I shouldn't have lied to you like that! I better go! Uh, Kasumi! Uh, hold on! Uh, what's going on here? No idea. Kasumi, hold up! I'm sorry, I... I don't care that you lied to me. I kinda had a feeling. <sighs> I... Can you, uh, tell my fortune again? Huh? I wanna know more about us. What's gonna happen to us? But, uh, I might just lie to you again. It's fine. I'm used to being lied to. And as long as it's you that's lying to me, I don't really care. Kanata. Okay, I'll do my best. This will be my last reading as a fortune teller. Sounds good. Five years later. Here's your lunch. Have a good day. Thanks. See ya. Ah, hold on. <clears throat> Today's lucky color is burgundy. And your lucky item of the day is... A preparat. A, a pre... what? We were husband and wife now. After I got married to her, I stopped getting scammed for some reason. And your lucky person for the day is... <gasps> Me! <laughs> <laughs> Aw, thanks babe. Of course. I loved her very much. She was the love of my life. Glad everything worked out. What did you think of today's episode? Please come back tomorrow for more. Thanks for watching. Bye.